Hi guys, in this uh, lecture or the post, we'll discuss substitution coding. Generally, these are asked in exams like government exam like SSC, CGL, CPO, and various other exam. People preparing must have known and encountered questions. Also, sometimes asked in banking exam, banking clerk and PO. So um, there's a lot of confusion between called and means, right? You must have a lot of people who have solved this question based on substitution coding and uh, they have encountered a lot of confusion between these two right they are always confused so today we'll discuss both the cases and what is the right approach so once you get the logic please um, follow the same otherwise you will be lost into getting logical deductions and uh, i hope i'll make these uh, videos very clear for you first i'll give you two examples then consequently you will have a exercise sheet and I'll solve them in the video given below, right? So if you have any doubt, please post in the comment section and um, make sure you understand this concept clearly and do not make the difference uh, or distinguish these uh, two things as together as these two are separate and it can create variation in your answers. So we'll discuss right now. So this is the question number one. If white is called blue, blue is called red, red is called yellow, yellow is called green, green is called black, black is called violet, and violet is called orange. What would be the color of human blood? So uh, as you can see, this is a question in which is called is mentioned. So this is one type and the other will be means, right? So just the flow will be different and if you get the logic, it will be clear for you. So first of all, uh, what is being asked is what would be the color of human blood? So to understand, uh, this will be simple. Human blood is red. And only you need to see the this way or this way. That's all you need to do. You know, if you follow what is the color, would be the color of human red. So whenever it's called, is called. So here you can see that the sentence are given as like blue is called red. So if we understand this, then we find that blue color is being called as red. Means color is blue only. But it is name is being given as called as red. Similarly for others colors also they give some name and we have to find the color of human blood. So uh, as you see as you have seen human blood is red color and red is called yellow. See red is called yellow this one this direction. So you will the your answer will be yellow right. So what would be the color of human blood yellow and you will see there is a change when uh, means is being played into the picture in the next question so I will place you in the next video and you can see that distinguish between this side and this side so whenever it's called just remember you have to see the next one is called the next one red is called yellow so red right direction and the next one we'll discuss in the next one right now so in this question uh, you can see question number two if green means red red means yellow Yellow means blue, blue means orange, and orange means green. What is the color of clean sky? So again, you can see in this question, it is not green is not called as red. There is a chain that here now we have used if green means red, right? There is a difference here. You are not using called. So exactly these two part people get confused which one we will follow. So let's jump directly in the conclusion. What is the color of clean sky? Generally, what is the color of clean sky? That is blue, right? But now, according to substitution coding, we have to deduct what is the answer, right? So here we can see that sentence are given like, uh, given like green means red. If we understand this, then we find that green means red. It means if we say green, what it actually means is red color or red color is red, but it's named as green and we have to find the color of sky we know that the sky is blue and in question it is given that yellow means blue see where it is um, yellow means blue see so what you are going in this direction right so uh, since so yellow means blue so color of sky will be yellow since blue has been named as yellow right so the answer will be yellow so only the difference is when you are using called you check this part this will be your starting point a is called b so what is the color of a it, it, your answer will be b and if a means b so the question will be from b 
and the answer will be A. This is the direction uh, difference. Sorry, this one. Sorry, it should be um, if C, like uh, if we say yellow means blue, right? So, uh, what is the color of blue? So, that will be this part, right? They will, you have to just correspond that you, which direction you will take. That's all will resolve the confusion in your all the answers, right? So, generally, you can see the reference point is here and the reference point is here. That's all called N means difference is. If you identify uh, these two things with this correct direction just as I have explained you in this example, you will not make any mistake and these are very easy dummy points to clear in the exams. You can get one or two marks which a lot of people will get confused. So you don't need to do this and just remember this logic and you will be clear, cleared with your all the confusion. Right? So thank you for watching this video.